Hi, Dave Powell, Integrity Surveying here, to coming to talk to you about asbestos and asbestos products around your home. Now, asbestos is mined from a rock and it's actually a great, great material. It's a wonderful thermal insulant and it's wonderful for giving strength to items. The only thing is, it's rather dangerous if it's breathed in. So what I thought we'd do is just to give you a talk through some of the places where we find it when we're out doing our surveys, okay? First of all, on the roof, roofing tiles, either rectangular shaped or diamond shaped, uh, normally grey or white, or if they're aged, sort of a, a dull black and grey sort of tan colour, um, left in place, undamaged, they're fine, they're up on the roof, they're not going to cause any real health issues. Now just below the roof is something called the soffit. Now that's the, the underside part of the roof that abuts the wall. Very often, especially 50s, 60s properties, they had asbestos soffits or cement soffits with asbestos content. Now if you're going to work on those, get them checked first of all. Don't sand them down before you decorate. And a lot of the time you can just render them safe by using plastic UP or UPVC to cover it and to block it in. So again, little health concern. Also on the outside, again in older properties, sometimes 1920s and 30s properties as well, but not exclusively then, you have uh, asbestos guttering and downpipes. Again, a greyish type material. You can't always tell what the material is because very often it's painted, and when you tap it, it might sound a bit metallic as well, so you can't always tell if it's asbestos or metal. Something like this, if you've got a sus uh, suspicion, get it tested first. Now then, the other part, other pipes that you get externally are flue pipes um, and soil and vent pipes. Left in place and damaged, they're okay, but they're very often in a position where, especially if you've got kids running around, um, or it's low to ground that you might hit them by accident to damage them. So anything like that you find, it's worth getting a company in to come in and take them out and replace them with uh, something more safer, a metal or a plastic stuff. So let's just move that out. Now then, let's go to other items within the garden. Let's start with garages. These have what we used to call crinkly or corrugated roofs. Again, cement sheets and again reinforced with asbestos. A lot of them also had asbestos sides, so it's a full asbestos structure. Um, again, left in place, undamaged, they're fine. It's been one at my mother's for about 40 years, it's still in use, there's no issues with it really, as long as you don't get damaging it, sanding it down, or doing anything else that could possibly release fibres. Um, if you want to replace them or get rid of them, again, get a qualified company in. So let's just move that out. Okay, less obvious internally, um, especially with older type heating systems, are cement pipes which go from the boiler, normally straight up, possibly through the roof, ending in a cement cowl. Um, if these are left in place, again, they're pretty much fine. But if you start replacing your heating system, it's always, gets, always best to get someone in to kind of have a look at the pipe and someone competent to remove it. Now then, also in the house, we'll start looking at the ceiling. Up to around about 1999, it was still possible to find asbestos in textured paint finishes, like Artex and that sort of thing. Not always, but it's possible. Now if you want to decorate it, fine paint over it, just don't sand it down or scrape it first. If you can start drilling through it, again, get it tested. Opposite to the ceiling is the floor, especially 1940s, 50s, 60s tiles, but again not exclusively to them. Uh, thermoplastic tiles. Now, these were laid down, glued to the floor, and very often a uh, dark brown or light brown colour. These are going to find if you put a carpet over the top, there's no health issue. If you start taking them up, again, get them tested first. And if you're going to put carpet down over the top, glue the gripper rod around the edge rather than start trying to hit it with hammering nails or drilling it, because that can release fibres. Okay, so that's the ceilings and the floors. Yeah. 
soffit areas and the stairs. Very often you'll find it's a grey board and you might think it's plasterboard. But check it. If it's only thin, it's more likely going to be a cement board and therefore could contain asbestos. As I keep saying, left in place and damaged, it's okay. But it's just one of those areas when you're stacking goods and things, you might damage it. So it might be best to get rid of it. Other places you can find it are things such as um, airing cupboard doors in older properties and also rarely as actual cement sheets which are for um, the ceilings. Again, it's very rare, I've only come across it twice. So, that's some of the places that you might find it in the property. We always look out for these things and we can um, have a good idea of what might contain asbestos and we'll bring that up and report it for you in our reports. The only way to really know if it's got asbestos in it is to have it checked. So hopefully those tips have been helpful and uh, gives you something to look out for when you're next house hunting. Dave Powell, Integrity Surveying, thanks very much for watching.